Hi again everyone and welcome again to another video in the 30 day video series uh, Adventures in Parenting 30 Days to Becoming a Better Parent My name is Julie Flaherty and I want to welcome everyone again to day 8 Thanks for joining us and for those of you who've invited your friends we welcome your friends today welcome everyone uh, today we're going to talk about uh, two things that are needed for not just comprehension but for um, reading skills and for uh, paraphrasing and storytelling and um, I'll get into details in just a minute on how those all work together but uh, to be able to write a good essay or to uh, paraphrase a book report um, uh, to what I'm doing right now, breaking things down so we all understand them. Um, the next two things we talk about are, are imperative for um, being able to explain things. I know, you would think I would know how to do that better. Uh, what we're going to talk about are uh, two things called saccadic fixation is one of them and the other one is visual span and that sounds really fancy but visual span is not just how fast can you read something it's actually um, how wide and how um, uh, how much breath how much width and how much breath uh, can you see at one time for example my visual span is pretty wide most people when they see and I'm holding a microphone so most people when they see see about to hear if you just go on this side and people with a good visual span can go outside of our realm a little bit and you see my little thumb right so right outside that now imagine I can see pretty far behind me and I can see around me I'm gonna work my way around so you can see and then I go all the way to the other side my kids say that I actually have eyes in the back of my head because I can work and still see them. <laughs> I can focus on what's going on in front of me and I can see what's going on out of the corner of my eye at the furthest point away from me and know whether it's a good thing or a bad thing and something I need to intercede on. Okay, So that's visual span. When you're reading or in a classroom, visual span should run from the top of the page to the bottom of the page pretty quickly. I should not have to finger read across a page to keep my spot. I should not have to use a ruler or, or tack my way down the, the um, lines on the page. And you know what I mean? We get to the end and we need to remember where we were. And I have friends that still do that. Either use a ruler or will still use their finger to see where they are on the page. The more tricks like that that we use, crutches is what I call them, the more, the more tricks that we use like that, the harder it is to put ourselves in the story. We're so busy f and focused on where we are, we're not paying attention to what we're reading. It takes away from the story. It's huge. It's a huge attention and energy um, uh, push to, to remember where I am in a story and, and rather than what's being said. So, um, and a lot of those kids will count pages in books. Oh, this book has 94 pages. It's going to take forever. Right? Well, that's why. Because to them, it's going to take forever. Because their focus is going to be on line, 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 line. It's that's a lot of effort, man, to put in for one book that's going to need a book report that's a page and a half. That's too much effort. It's too much. So that's visual span. It is used in reading. It's used in being able to retain the information. And if we put too much energy on where we are in a book, it's harder to retain that information. Everybody got that one? Okay. The other one is saccadic fixation. And saccadic fixation is just fancy terminology for how your eye guides across the page so when we're looking at a page that we're reading if we start here and we start to read right I'm sorry we were 
well, yeah, left to right, okay? So as we start to read, what we see is in that first line, we're fine. We get to the second line and our eye starts to bounce a little bit. We get to the third line and we've started to bounce a lot. It almost looks like our attention is lost. We get to about middle of the page and that's when we have to start finger reading. Yeah. Or our lips have to move when we are reading down the page so we don't forget where we are in the page. So we can't write. Okay, you, you guys get the idea. So saccadic fixation is, does your eye bounce around or does it glide across the page? And the key is to get it to glide across the page. And that has a lot more to do with muscles in the eye and training the muscles to do their job, more so than it is a cognitive skill. But it can be trained to change. It just takes practice and your eyes may hurt and get tired and kids say a lot that man my head hurts well there's a reason I'm making your eyes and your brain do things that they're, they're not used to doing so much like a trainer trains a runner to run a marathon you don't start running 25 miles on day one or you will vomit and die and those of you out there that are uh, marathon or triathlete people you know the deal you have to start small and build and build and add and add and add and the first 10 miles normally aren't as bad as adding the last five miles. Right, so the more we can get the brain to play along and play games, the better that saccadic fixation is and the better the visual span gets. And between the two, those will aid in the speed of reading and the comprehension of reading, okay? So I wanted to, to um, make sure those were out today and we were on the same page there. We're almost through all these definitions, guys, but if we don't get the groundwork laid and a good foundation, we can't really build on the fun parts because they won't make sense. And I'll spend more time explaining them than I would if um, we got didn't get the groundwork down first. So we're almost there. I assure you we're getting to games. I keep talking about games and fun and, and building in and telling stories and we're just so close. So hang in there, okay? All right, here comes the last minute spiel. You know the words. Comment boxes are for you, and I read them all. Comment in the comment box. If you have any questions you don't want to put in the comment box, you feel free to email me. Y'all know the words by now. Julie.flaherty at gmail.com. Okay? All right, I look forward to seeing everybody tomorrow in day nine. Look at us go. Talk to everybody later. Bye.